So, my mom has the bad habit of never telling me when we're going to do shit. And, uh, I stayed up late last night. And this morning, she woke me up. She was like, hey, we got to clean the house. The, uh, old house since we just moved. And I was just like, can you tell me when we're going to, like, I'd like it if you told me when we're going to clean the house. She's like, we clean the house every day. I've been cleaning it every day for 14 days just to come here and clean this house. Like, first of all, the past two days, I've been waking up really early at 7 o'clock and fucking 9 o'clock. You could have taken me then. I would have been fine. But no. And then, second of all, it's not my fault that when you come home, you fucking have to clean this house after your son. I clean my damn mess. I load and unload the dishwasher. I clean the air fryer. I mean, for fuck's sake. But do you talk to your fucking piece of shit son about it? No, because he's the golden child. And it's fucking ridiculous. He might go to the other house to clean, but he doesn't clean. But does she get on to him about it? No. No, she doesn't. I mean... What the fuck? And then suddenly, like, she gets pissed off after I said that. After I said, I would like it if you told me that we're fucking going. And, uh, she's she like, you know what? Go back to bed. I need you to stay here and let the dogs out. And I'm just like. Like. I can't fucking read your mind, woman. If you want me to go, you need to tell me to go. You know? I swear to God. She acts like I can fucking read her mind. She has some crazy ass expectations for a teenager. She expects me to be fucking crystal clean. Always spastically cleaning up like she is and she gets on to me about it not Josh she gets on to me even though we fucking clean his room for him what kind of bullshit like This is such, this is such a fucking toxic family, man. And I know it's not as bad as other people, but I've been dealing with this shit for so fucking long. And it's driving me nuts. I swear to God. And... Bob won't even let me get a fucking job, so I can't move out. And I'm fucking tired of it. Your 21-year-old son, who can't hold down a job, who is an alcoholic, who stays up all night gaming, who doesn't clean up after himself, who who hasn't even graduated high school, is living at your house who doesn't even fucking pay rent while your youngest daughter who cleans up after herself who's a JRTC student who has pretty good fucking grades who hasn't even done drugs who's who's still a virgin who doesn't drink like which one would you get on to the reject or the better child and I'm not saying I'm fucking perfect But I'm better than Josh in many ways. And yet, it's always my fault. 
And when Josh does shit, like hurt me, like when he pinches me, uh, and I get upset over it, understandably, mom gets pissed off at me, and Josh is like, you're such a baby, you're being overdramatic, that didn't hurt. And when mom gets pissed off and goes upstairs and slams her door like a three-year-old, Josh is like, look what you did, you pissed mom off. And I'm just like, like, it, I fucking, I'm so tired of them. I'm so fucking tired of them. They blame me for everything. Everything. And I am so tired of it. I am so very tired of it. And I want it to stop. And I want to leave this fucking house. And my nev- Uh, Josh is such a fucking- He's a narcissist. He is a sociopath. Not even fucking kidding with that shit. It's low uh, sociopathy, but it's sociopathy. And he is such a fucking hypocrite. But does mom ever get on to him about the house being dirty? About someone not letting the fucking dogs out about crumbs being on the damn counter about fucking placemats being crooked no you know who she gets on to me for some fucking reason I have been cursed with a mother who has high ass expectations for me that is Difficult to meet because of the way I fucking am. And Lord knows, I'm trying so fucking hard to actually be a good kid in her eyes. I want her praise. I want her to say, hey, a good job, you know? But no. I'm always getting criticized. And... That shit is the kind of shit that causes me to fucking want to kill myself or hurt myself. And I've mentioned that. I've told her how I feel about this. But does she care? No. Will she ever care? No. No, she won't. And in just a few more years, I'm going to get a fucking car, I'm going to get a job, and I'm going to fucking leave this toxic-ass house. And I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to last that long. I'm trying so fucking hard to meet those impossible expectations. But I can't. Not 24 fucking 7 like she wants me to. Like I'm sorry that you're a workaholic. That because you're out of the military. You have nothing better to do but to get on to your fucking daughter. About a damn rapper on the counter. Talk to your fucking son about that. Like why is it always me? I don't deserve this shit. It makes me feel like such a piece of crap when she's like, I, I woke up early this morning and I had to clean the kitchen. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's not like it was my mess. Your fucking son doesn't know how to clean up after himself. <laughs> and I know uh, if you see the mess, you should still clean it. But I'm constantly doing that. I'm constantly cleaning up after him. I'm constantly cleaning the couch, the bathroom, the couch, the kitchen, everything. But the second I don't do it, it's all my fault. And it's always going to be my fault. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, it's going to be my fault. Everything is going to be my fault. 
about time I just accept that. I'm never going to meet her expectations. She's never going to accept me for who I am. My brother is always going to be the golden child that's going to live with his fucking mother for the rest of his life. But I hope he knows when we're older and mom's gone and he needs a place to stay because he fucking lost his job for the fifth time because he's an alcoholic. He better not set a single damn step on my front porch. Because I ain't dealing with that. I'm not doing that. I'm not as vulnerable as my mom. And by that, I mean, I won't let him make me pity him. Like the way he does everybody else. My entire life, he has never treated a single woman like a person at all. He doesn't treat me like a person doesn't treat my mom like a person. He didn't even treat his girlfriend, the love of his life, like a person. And you might be saying, well, if she was the love of his life, why did he treat her so bad? Because he doesn't fucking know how to treat women right. Because he never had a role model. And mom lets him do this shit. She, she talks about how he always does shit, but does she stop it? Does she talk to him about it? No. She lets him get away with it. He has no consequences. Which is what, like, which is why he's still doing this shit. Which is why he's an alcoholic. Which is why he fucking, he dealt drugs when he was 16. But me, an almost 16-year-old girl, still has a virginity, hasn't smoked, hasn't drinking, nothing. Unlike Josh. And yet, I'm the bad guy. I'm the kid that... That everyone just puts the blame on. I mean, when my sister was my age, my oldest sister... She was pregnant. When my other sister was my age, she was a fucking druggie. And she was having sex. And when my brother was my age, he was smoking weed. He was fucking sneaking out, throwing parties, getting drunk, getting arrested, smoking cigarettes. And me? I'm not doing any of that. And yet, I'm the problem child. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, I may not be the neatest, but I'm a hell of a lot cleaner than my brother. And I don't, I not only have mom issues, but I have family issues in general. Like, my favorite sister isn't in my life. My, my brother is a sociopathic alcoholic. My sister is a fucking, even she's a sociopath. And she's selfish, and she's egotistical, and she's a fucking uh, narcissist to the to the absolute max. My mom is a workaholic that has nothing better to do with her life, that does nothing but clean and complains about it the entire fucking time, and that has high expectations for her youngest daughter that is difficult to meet. Like, I'm a teenager. Let me be a fucking teenager. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not hurting myself. I'm not doing drugs. I'm not getting arrested. Let me be me. I cleaned the kitchen last night. Isn't that enough? But no, she had to go the extra fucking mile and wipe everything down and complain that she cleaned the kitchen. I 
I genuinely wish that she could fucking work again and that she gets the hell out of this house. At least for six to seven hours a day. So that she comes home like she used to and she keeps herself in her fucking room. Or she takes a nap. I just want her to leave me the fuck alone. That's all I want. I want her to get a fucking job, which she can't because she is 58, 59, and she needs to find shit to do. Because now all she does is complain about how dirty the house is, about how she always cleans, about she's the only one cleaning. Well, maybe you should stop fucking cleaning for once. And actually tell your piece of shit of a son, hey, clean up your fucking mess. I ain't dealing with this shit. Pay rent. Blah, 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 blah. Get on to him about the shit that he's doing that triggers you in the first place. She doesn't get on to him about her triggers. She talks to me about the fact that I trigger her, though. Like, the feeling's mutual, woman. And unless you fix your own fucking problems, then we can't fix what's between us. I know what's wrong. I know what I want to talk about. But because of her own damn issues, I can't talk to her about it. Or she tells me to go to my room and leave her alone, and she shuts herself in for the next few days. I can't talk to her about my own issues, like my depression, or Josh, or Lauren, or anything. Because she won't listen. Or she throws her own shit, like the fact that she's been raped. Like, <laughs> what does that have to do with this? If I'm having a mental breakdown over something that happened, you don't tell me, oh, well, I've been raped twice. What does that have to do with that? Like, she can't even comfort me properly. When I, when I had a mental breakdown over Luca's death, she got pissed off at me. She got angry. And I was just sobbing, and I just wanted her to hug me. I just wanted a hug. I wanted her to tell me that it was going to be okay. But can't she do that? No. No, she can't. Because she doesn't have the mental fucking capacity to do that shit anymore. When my mom came back from Afghanistan, she was not my mom. That's not my mom. To me, that's just a fucking... That's an acquaintance that I'm still getting used to. And I'll never get used to her. I'll never get used to her violent outbreaks, her insane cleaning sprees, her expectations. I'll never get used to that. I really, I really wish I could be a better person to her. I wish that she would see me as the daughter she's always wanted. But she doesn't. And she never will. Because that daughter she wants is fucking perfect. Keeps her room clean. Takes a shower every few days. Which I know that's disgusting, but I'm really depressed right now. Cleans the kitchen. Cleans the house. Doesn't complain about shit. Doesn't ask for anything. I'm not trying to be selfish, but there's shit I want in life. Like, if I, let's say I want to go to a friend's house. Hey mom, can you drive me over to so-and-so's house really quick so we can hang out for a few hours? What? No, because then I'll have to come back and get you. And I'm just like, yeah. She doesn't even fucking... She doesn't let me do anything, man. I'm so tick. I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of this life. I'm sick of this fucking family. And I can't wait to leave. 
If I get the chance to move in with a friend, I'm fucking out of here. I ain't doing that. If I have my learner's permit, or I can drive on my own, then I'm fucking outie. I'm not staying here any longer than I have to. Because this family is very toxic. Very, very toxic. And when I can, I'm shutting them out. Especially my brother. So yeah, that's my rant. You can tell I'm very cooped up. Like, I can't. There is too much shit going on. And I just can't. I don't want to... I don't want a life anymore, man. I wish I could just, boom, out of existence. Never existed in the fucking first place. That would be great. That would be absolutely amazing. But now I'm cursed. And I'm probably going to be the only child that actually does something in life. Because my sister didn't get her shit together... She doesn't, she still doesn't have it completely together, but she hasn't even gotten close to getting her shit together until she was 27. And my other sister, who is 26, 28, I forgot which one. No, she was, she was 28 because Lauren's almost 30 now. Um, she doesn't have her life together. For fuck's sake, she married a neo-Nazi. Who was a feminist. Who was a fucking... Oh my lord. But yeah. And I've already complained about my brother enough for y'all to understand. I mean, for fuck's sake. Josh, when he was playing with Atticus, he busted his lip open and didn't even know. He busted Atticus's lip open. And did anyone get on to him about it? No. No, they didn't. It's fucking bullshit. It's complete and utter bullshit. When I can get away, I will. It's just a matter of time.